My name is Tom Curran. I'm a tutor in the Foundation Year program, and it is a real privilege to be allowed to introduce the second section of the Foundation Year program to you very briefly now. The second section is the section that covers the so-called Middle Ages, or the medieval section, and it is representative of about a thousand years of Mediterranean history, which is beautifully illustrated here behind me by this representation of the dome of Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, one of the supreme and most important instances of world architecture, which stands at the beginning of our period. It's called the Middle Ages, or the medieval section, because it represents a moment between antiquity and the Renaissance. This is useful for us here today because, in my opinion as a tutor, the supreme question that we have before us in the Foundation Year program is the character of justice. Our very serious considerations of this character of justice have one beginning in Plato's Republic, which is a consideration of what the city of Athens has become and why justice has fled the city. And on the other end of this medieval period, we have Machiavelli's consideration of what kind of political life is possible where justice is no longer the supreme aspiration of the city or the state when, if I may put it this way, government and justice become divorced. In between the two, the supreme thing we consider is Dante's great poem, The Divine Comedy, which he set in the year 1300. Many think this poem is about the afterlife, but as he makes clear to his patron in a letter, it's not about the afterlife at all. It's an allegory, which is to say it's a story that tells another story. And as he says in that letter to his patron, my comedy belongs to that branch of philosophy called ethics because its purpose is to move the reader from a state of misery to a state of bliss in this life. How can you not be attracted to coming to King's and studying this work with us at this stage in your life and at this stage in your career? What issue could be of greater interest to you than to know what it means to move from a state of misery to a state of bliss in this life, the character of happiness.